My name is Rosina. I'm David. I'm Madeline. My name is Rachel. I've been homeless two and a half years. I've had seven different landlords in seven years. I retired about three months ago. I'm trying hard to raise my kids on a low income. It's not easy. At the heart of every social issue are real people's lives. I just couldn't see a way out. We live in a time of enormous uncertainty. Two million homes should change. Disruption. Uncertainty. But if we come together, we can create a better future. Because the truth is, the ideas that have truly changed the world have been collective endeavours. That's where the greenhouse comes in. The greenhouse. The greenhouse. The greenhouse. The greenhouse is a bold new approach to changing lives. Hundreds of staff and tenants from hundreds of housing associations came up with hundreds of ideas to tackle the social issues that they felt were most pressing. These ideas were given to 25 people chosen from across the housing association sector. Newcastle, Birmingham, London, Worcestershire, Bradford. They were grouped into five teams, each focused on a different social challenge. We are the People Power team. Transforming tenure. Our team is halting homelessness. Building better. Adapting with age. They were given training and inspiration. They were given space to work. And they were given 16 weeks to dedicate to the problem. They have taken the ideas generated by the sector and developed them into solutions to change people's lives. This process isn't about talking about innovation. It's about doing the work. This week, very special week, we've survived boot camp. Yay! Today, we've come to our base for the next 16 weeks. Yeah, it's kind of possibly a bit overwhelming at this point. To try and find a key deliverable product at the end of 16 weeks, let alone demonstrating that to 800 people at a conference. It's a daunting task. There's no point in coming to this to aim small. I've come here to do something that's actually going to make an impact. So the last uh, two or three weeks been getting uh, insight into the issues. Me and Jay went to Portcullis House to interview an MP. Jackie and I went to visit the Bishop of Manchester. I've never met so many influential people and had to bumble him with a strange accent. <laughs> We've done research from around about 50 different stakeholders, from CEOs to contractors to residents. As we've been out and we've been gathering insights, consistent themes have been coming around. The conversations that we're having with tenants, they often come back to food. We're six weeks in at the moment into the project. We've uh, got an idea now. I can see we're learning new skills, getting new ways of thinking. No one's telling you what to do. Um, and it's exhilarating and it's probably the most difficult thing as well. It was a bit of a down day yesterday. We had a, an idea um, which we have since discovered is not going to work. It didn't really have legs and I think that really knocked us for six. But that's how we found it, it's very up and down. There have been elements where things almost seem like they were going to plan, but most of the time you're just wading through this whole tide of uncertainty constantly. Are we taking on too much? Are we doing too little? Which comes before which? There is a hell of a lot still to do. In one sense, time's moving really fast, but when I look back, it feels like we've been doing it forever. My world has suddenly got big. We set ourselves quite a challenging target and we kind of smashed that. We've refined and refined and refined, we've pivoted a few times, but it's, it's been exhilarating really. One of the things that's strange about this project is you're working on something that doesn't exist yet and you're hoping it's going to get taken up and then exist. Who are our future tenants and how can we ensure that we're ready? I'm really excited for the summit to show everyone what we've done. A little nervous. Nervous. Really nervous. Definitely nervous. I am just racked with nerves. But also excited. Our uh, idea is big, it's game changing, it could really revolutionise the way we build housing. When you think how much they've achieved from a standing start, it's really quite remarkable and a reflection of the talent that we have in the housing association sector. Now these ideas leave the greenhouse. And these teams face their biggest challenge yet. To secure the support they need, to make these ideas a reality. 
Right now, these are just ideas. You can turn them into solutions that can transform people's lives. Lives like mine. Like mine. Like mine. Like mine. Like mine.